Tomorrow is finally the day. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, one of my absolute most anticipated movies of the year. People are loving the Spider-Verse films. Into the Spider-Verse had in the high 97% ratings. The new one has in the high 90 some odd percent ratings. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see it. But there's been a lingering question ever since Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse came out, which was, could we ever potentially see a live action Miles Morales film as opposed to a live action Peter Parker one? Of course, we've got live action Peter Parker right now. That's Tom Holland. He's swinging around in the MCU over there. But could Sony, while they're making Venom movies and Spider-Woman movies and Craven the Hunter movies and Morbius movies, <laughs> may I say a Morbius franchise? The Morchise? No? Okay. No? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's forget I said that. Everybody wants the Morchise. So, <laughs> what about Miles Morales? Can Miles Morales come in a live action environment? Well, there's a bunch of buzz going around online in the last couple hours saying, Did you hear, John? Did you hear? They're doing a live action Miles Morales. And where does that come from? Well, let's go over to Variety. Variety is doing a report on, you know, all things Spider-Man. And they've got this headline saying, Spider-Man producers tease live action Miles Morales movie and animated Spider-Woman film. Well, we knew about that. But what is it that was actually said? Well, here's the quote here. Producer Amy Pascal says a Spider-Woman movie and live action Miles Morales movies are in the works. Well, wait a minute. Did she actually say the words a live action Miles Morales movies in the works? Not really, but, but here's what happened. You'll see all of it, she told me Tuesday night at the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse premiere in Los Angeles. It's all happening. So what it sounds like to me is that some reporter threw a bunch of titles at her and she said, you'll see all of it. It's all happening. <laughs> like the quote here is not Amy Pascal. Because, you know, I had a few people write to me this afternoon saying, John, did you hear that Amy Pascal said that they are doing a live action Miles Morales film? I'm like, really? And then I looked it up and sure enough, that's not actually what she said. But in response to reports, she goes, you'll see all of it. It's all happening. So what are our options here? Well, there's a couple. Option number one, that they are indeed working on a live action Miles Morales film. Now, that would be very welcome news to a lot of fans ears miles morales has been killing it into the spider-verse movies i have a hard time believing now, now i am not saying it cannot be true i am not saying it can't be true because it can be true we live in a world where jamie fox came back to play electro again in that world fucking anything can happen <laughs> at any time down is up and up is down so yeah it, it is possible well john why are you skeptical about it? Well, I'm skeptical about it for a couple of reasons. Number one, Sony right now has an incredibly good thing going with Miles Morales in animated form. The first one didn't blow the doors off the box office, but it made a respectable 300 and some odd million dollars. More importantly, it was beloved and won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. This movie, Across the Spider-Verse, promises to make a lot more and will probably win the animated best picture, uh, best animated picture at the Academy Awards again. So they got a really good thing going. The other thing that makes me dubious that they would be making a live action Miles Morales film here is that there's no way I can foresee Disney ever allowing it. Because under the terms of their current agreement between Sony and Disney, Disney gets to make live action Spider-Man movies. And Disney's like, that's great, but you devalue their property if at the same time some other studio is making live-action Spider-Man movies. Oh, that is a different Spider-Man. It's not the same Spider-Man. Like, it's one thing if you want to do Craven. Hell, it's even another thing if you want to do Spider-Woman or if you want to do a Spider-Gwen live-action movie. But the moment you're going to have a live-action movie called Spider-Man... While this studio is making live action movies called Spider-Man, I, I have a very, very difficult time believing that under the terms of their agreement that Disney would let that happen. There is another option, though, that is a possibility. And that's what if a live action Miles Morales film does get made, but it's not in the Sony-verse, it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What if this is a Miles Morales that runs around with Tom Holland's Spider-Man? And is in that world. See, that solves the problems, right? 
it solves the problems that, you know, Sony doesn't have to mess around with a live action Miles while they've got this treasure trove in their animated Miles Morales. And it solves the problem of not stepping on Disney's toes trying to make live action Spider-Man movies if you take this one and put him in the MCU with the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Now, again, I'm not saying any of those are definitively what's going on here. I think it's very possible that Amy Pascal was just talking out of her ass saying, yeah, you're going to see all of it. It's all happening. Uh, it's That's possible. It's possible she said what she meant and meant what she said. It's possible that this could be an MCU thing that they'd be putting Miles Morales in. I don't know. There's a lot of different possibilities here, and maybe it's much ado about nothing. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. rocketmoney.com slash campia. Question is for you guys. What do you think is going on here with this story? Do you think that there's going to be a live action Miles Morales forthwith coming and coming sooner than we think? Uh, maybe not. Maybe yes. If yes, do you think it'd be in the Sony-verse or do you think they would have him go over and join Peter Parker in the MCU. Whatever you guys think is going on here, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, we do the John Campy Show podcast every day. So go and subscribe to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever your favorite podcasting app of choice is.